All right, thanks for waiting. I had to run downstairs and accept a delivery. Unfortunately for me, for my eager palate, there was no wine being brought in. It was actually a bunch of props, uh, what they call point of sale material. It's gonna be used to decorate one of our shop windows down there. That's uh, perhaps interesting to tell you because we are gonna make a big deal out of Laurent Perrier Champagne for Valentine's Day. We've already stocked the store with their beautiful rosé, which is kind of like the color for that day. And they come right now, at least, in some beautiful uh, metallic screen kind of tin boxes that are just, they make the champagne taste even better because the bottle looks better. So at any rate, we're gonna be talking that up, be looking forward to a really fancy window, and why not get a bottle of Laurent Perrier champagne for your uh, sweetheart this Valentine's Day. It will be appreciated. Uh, you can buy one for me too, thanks. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna run back to uh, where we were, just talking about new wines that we're putting onto that uh, just arrived section, the just out of the box section of our website, thewinesteward.com. And uh, we told you about a Pinot Grigio, a white wine that looks ever so slightly pink or copper colored. That's a pretty cool thing. We told you about Muga. Let's tell you about this, this label that you cannot possibly read. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Like pure gold, it's, it's made. The, this label is actually using gold leaf and that's why the bottle costs about $5,000, but you know, no, I'm kidding. So uh, this is, um, if you can just kind of, if I turn it back and forth, you might see there's some raised uh, lettering there. It says Fiasco. Fiasco is made by our friend at Field Recordings, our friend Andrew Jones. He's a creative dude, makes delicious wine. This is a brand new red that is one half Cabernet Sauvignon, one half Sangiovese. So that's not done outside of Tuscany all that often, is it? He's done it. Uh, all the fruit comes from Happy Canyon of Santa Barbara County, that east side of that wine region. This wine is juicy, friendly, delicious. Andrew Jones of Field Recordings does not make an unfriendly wine. Everything he does is happy. Everything he does is whimsically labeled. Here's another idea. The first thing you were seeing in video number one today was uh, this beer. It's beer. It's good beer. And it's Andrew Jones's beer. So he's gotten into beer making. What else is Andrew doing? This is a wine that you're about to see. Actually, it's already on there in our new arrivals, just out of the box, part of our website very obviously identified as Shannon. In other words, Shannon Blanc. Uh, this is Central Coast Shannon Blanc and Andrew's done a wonderful job with that. The grape I often call the best grape in the world. And then look at this, this is another one very obviously labeled. We're getting a uh, theme here, aren't we? A label design. This is mead. Have you heard of mead? Mead is a fermented uh, honey product. And it's normally, I mean, it's normally made by people, at least historically, over the last few several centuries uh, in lands where you couldn't get a grape ripe. Well, you gotta ferment something to <laughs> have a party with. So in England, for instance, mead got very popular. It is fermented honey. Um, I've never liked them. I always thought they were like meaningless and unnecessary. This wine's fun though. This mead is a uh, slightly carbonated one. So it's got some fizz going on that kind of lifts and uh, makes it a little more exciting. Uh, at Christmas time, a lot of the people in the room were really getting off on this. This is a fun product that doesn't cost all that much. If you've never tried mead, try this one. Don't try another. If you have tried mead, come back, try this before you dismiss the category entirely. So these are all fun, whimsically labeled by Andrew jo uh, products by Andrew Jones of Field Recordings. But besides the whimsical look, the guy makes very solid wine. He's also a nursery man, so his day job or alternative job is actually selling grapevines to uh, potential or soon to be vineyards all over the Central Coast. So the dude knows where vineyards are. Like if he, if he's hunting around for Sangiovese, he probably knows where it's about to be planted and so on. So uh, he's a good guy to know. Uh, okay, we've told you about the Zoom event coming up. We've told you about some new products. This is cool. I, I, I've, this is a wine that I'm almost certainly gonna buy for this store. It's hiding under my uh, Anthony Bourdain mask. And uh, it is just something that's indicative of, of what we're doing for you all day long. We're trying things. We're deciding what do we think of this wine that uh, we've been sampled on. This is called a Godeo. And why is it under a mask? Why is it already in my glass? Because it's been there all night. I know this or suspect this thing about the grape called Godeo. This, this quality of this grape, Godeo, which is grown in Galicia, Spain, kind of inland Galicia, has this really uh, important and unique quality, kind of like Mavedra, of not minding the abuse of being in an open bottle or glass all night long, perhaps with something to keep the fruit flies out of it on top, but letting the air in, that's abusive. That's not what you do to wine, right? Try it on good Godeo, not like 
$10 Godeo, as if there is such a thing, but this is a wine that I'm almost certainly gonna carry because what it's saying today, one day later, besides how many good things it was saying yesterday, it's saying I am still healthy and I'm actually at room temperature, abused by air all night. There's a lot going on here, kind of like a white burgundy and that's in fact why I treat it to a, a burgundy glass. And you know, a great wine that costs over $30, white wine, it kind of deserves the treatment. It deserves good stemware. I uh, apply really good Godeo to this burgundy glass frequently if I can get my hands on those. Mm. <laughs> this wine is so healthy. It, Godeo strikes again. It worked, the experiment worked before your very eyes. And uh, you know, do we have anything else to tell you? I mean, I've got these wines to try and see, you know, I got the notebook open, but Suffice it to say that I will be trying some more samples off screen and that we hope you see a few new things pop up on the website because they passed muster and they were a wine type that we needed to fill our store with downstairs. Like we don't have a really good organ Riesling right now. So how's this going to be? And so on. I believe that's about it. We've told you about Fiasco. We've told you about a Pinot Grigio. We've told you about Muga and so on. Our new website collection. Most importantly, Please be with us with Tom Kelly next Thursday night. Zoom with us again. That pack is available now. Six Italian wines for under $136 and well under $130 if you apply your club code. So if you can't remember that code, email me. We'll get it to you and you'll get a nice discount. You'll be under, I think, under $124 for that pack. In the meantime, thanks so much for doing everything you are with us especially at our slowest time of the year. Yes, uh, we are uh, kind of hunting around for customers right now. And it's always um, especially appreciated when we see people come in downstairs asking for help and, and buying a few bottles and some good cheese and such. We've got some fun news coming up about uh, Bloom's End, the, our daughter Mary's project. And you are soon going to be able to access her products all the time in a certain way. So we'll just throw that rumor out there. And in the meantime, once again, thank you. Thanks for watching not one, but two videos today. And have a great day. Have a great weekend.